So we're all waiting for the Windows 12 update this year. I mean, Satya, why? Come on. Mac OS 26, Windows 12G. Yeah. But what we instead got is the 25H2 update, and God knows who keeps these names. But the point is, this is probably the biggest Windows update of 2025. It packs in some big features, big changes, and you know what? Some of them just smoke Mac OS. So hit that subscribe button, spank that bell icon, deal good, and yeah, let's go. So first off, the start menu is finally, finally changing. I mean, we all know how great the Windows start menu is with all the recommendations. You have to click apps and then go find apps. It is great, but it's finally getting better. So this is the new start menu and with this, you're getting everything at one place. All apps in their category boxes. So you don't have to scroll like a madman to find an app. Yeah, this saves you a few seconds of your precious time. The pin tab also gets bigger now, keeps eight apps instead of six on larger screens. And if you're not a fan of categories, you can choose grid or even list. And look at this, this looks so much cleaner than before. Okay, so this is also pretty good. Right next to the start menu, you get this new phone link bar to check your phone's battery, messages, you know, make or take calls from right here, share files, be it Android or iPhone. But as a Windows guy, if you're always jealous of iPhone mirroring feature on the Mac, God has heard you, Satya Bhai has heard you. And you can now mirror your Android phone screen and use, I mean, chat with your girlfriend, watch Reels, all on your PC and no one will know. Just make sure your boss never knows about this. <laughs> This new Windows update is also changing the way you share files with this new drag to share feature. I mean, just drag a file or folder and a share tray will automatically show at the top with recommended apps to put the file to, or you can even share the file with your phone. And yeah, I know the recommended apps are something mostly none of us use. So there's a more option too, which opens up your regular share menu. And even that has a new feature, which lets you edit a photo like crop or something before you share it. Very similar to what we have seen on Google Pixel phones. And you can even compress files before sharing them. Nice. Now moving on from the features, there are some tiny but really cool visual changes coming to Windows 11. For example, you can now see your laptop's battery level directly in the taskbar I and mean, the battery icon changes colors based on the power mode. So green when charging, yellow on power saver mode and red when it's gonna die. And even the taskbar is getting some changes. You all know Windows taskbar could never, you know, match the Max dock. You're never gonna be him. But yeah, the Windows taskbar is getting better. You can now make these icons even smaller and it can even shrink automatically when there's a lot going on in the taskbar. And I think this is pretty cool. Also, the about page in the settings has this cool new look with cars that show you your specs. So if you want to flex your dedicated GPU, which the MacBook will probably never get, you can now with a better looking page to do so. We've probably used the Windows snapping tool to, you know, take a screenshot, record the screen, but this is getting three new features. First up, there's a color picker, which lets you pick the color code from anything that's on your screen. Super useful for, you know, photo editors. Then there's text extractor, so you can copy text from images, PDFs, basically any text that's on the screen. And there's also a new perfect screenshot tool, which automatically crops the screenshots, like say I captured this text with lots of blank space to the side, which is kind of unnecessary and unnecessary things get chopped off, just like your. And that's all, you can even now save screen record recordings as GIFs, so some of the nice people in the office are just making great GIFs of me. Now I know touchpad gestures in Windows have been here since ages now, but there are some cool new tricks with this update. For example, you can now change volume or even change music with the new three and four finger gestures. Yeah, I love finger gestures. You can also set these gestures to open search, play pause music, or even use it as the middle mouse button, you know, if yours is not working. I mean, I just wish I could remap this gesture to, you know, an app or a specific action. That'd be super cool, right? Another thing that's getting better with this update is one thing that Mac OS just doesn't have, widgets. Eh? Lock screen widgets. Yes, you can now use Spotify, Phone Link, and even some games and puzzles on your laptop's lock screen, actually four of them at a time. And there are even some cool new options you can download from the Microsoft Store, which everyone uses. I mean, imagine changing songs, checking live scores, stock market, your phone notifications, all of it on the lock screen. Yeah, this script sucks. Now, we all know AI is the new normal in 2025, and this update is bringing new AI features. And before you say that I don't use Windows AI features, just hear me out because you can finally remap the Copilot key. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Satya why? Yes, you finally now get the option to open search with the Copilot key, and there's even a custom option that lets you map it to, you know what, drum roll please. Copilot? What? 
Anyway, if you do use Copilot, you can now activate the voice chat using voice and all you have to say is, hey, Copilot. Yeah, very original Microsoft. And apart from the usual stuff like what to have in dinner, this could be very useful, say, when you want to talk about a picture that you've saved, just right click and tap on Ask Copilot. And this is much easier than, say, opening Copilot and then dragging the image there. Yeah, very handy. And apart from that, there are also new paint features we've seen in previous Insider builds. Like you can create an image by typing your prompts in the image creator or even make a sticker through the sticker generator. You you can even remove background or cut out subject, which I'm not sure how many of you will use, but good to have here. You can also access all these features while editing images through the Photos app, which is again something we all use. And the hero feature, the best feature that your Windows PC is getting right now is called AI Agent. And no, this is not your AI Agent that will book your flights and stuff. This is Windows AI Search. And this is very similar to what we've seen in OnePlus phones and other phones where you can just basically search for anything. Like say you want to find that phone invoice you saved on your laptop. And to do it, you'll generally search for the file name. But with this new AI feature, you can simply search invoice, the phone name, or anything that's supposed to be inside that document. And it'll pull up right in the search. And this not only works with documents, but also photos. You can search for stuff like blue bike, toys, pets, or anything that you probably are looking for but can't remember that exact file name or where exactly it is. Now, I know this raises some privacy concerns because I know there's a perception that privacy, that's not Microsoft. But this new AI agent feature is completely on device. So no, Microsoft isn't scanning all your files and apps. And not just that, even the settings app is getting AI. So it now understands what you're asking and can do things for you. Like you can just type, my mouse pointer is too small. And who wrote the script? I'll guide you to increase it. And this is super awesome considering how small. And this is super awesome considering how scattered all the options are. Now, before you comment, Rupesh, I don't have these features. Well, some of them should be there. Look harder and some of them are still doling out so have some patience and honestly all of the jokes and everything apart i think this is a very good windows update i mean all of the tiny things the new changes the stuff they're doing with ai makes me more excited for the windows 12 update whenever it comes anyway i want to know from you what do you guys think of this new windows update comment down below and make sure to hit subscribe thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.